everyone welcome back to my youtube channel happy healthy smiles hope you guys are all doing well thank you so much for joining me today we're talking about a very important subject the dangers of do-it-yourself whitening products or kits now in the last 10 years it's skyrocketing or become very popular the products and people are wanting to improve their smile for all the social media, the Instagram, the selfies, the Facebook, YouTube channel, and of course all those dating sites. So I get it, everybody wants a beautiful smile. You just have to be careful because there's a lot of issues occurring. Now here are a couple of things that we're finding people are complaining about. One is pretty bad or severe gum sensitivity. A second is uneven whiteness of the teeth. So one side is a bit whiter than the other or even the tooth itself. One part is whiter than the other. Uh, the third issue people have is enamel irritation or sensitivity. So that's um, something to avoid. Uh, a painful tooth. Sometimes what happens is if a person doesn't know they have a cracked tooth or a filling uh, that's um, broken, or even a cavity so the chemical can get inside the internal part of the tooth and cause damage which can be very painful um, another uh, problem is chemical burns and ulcers so you have to be very careful a lot of people assume because they're natural products that it can't harm but unfortunately they've caused a lot of damage uh, one of the reasons is people are overusing these products or using them in a very aggressive manner, like brushing really hard with it for a long period or longer than recommended. Uh, people are putting too much product on, overusing, so the product is seeping and irritating your tooth and gums. Also, people are not reading the directions and not following the correct procedure. So all of these things are causing issues. So now I'm going to talk about a couple of these uh, do-it-yourself uh, products and what the problems are. So let's talk about some of these DIY products. One very popular one is a paste made out of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda that's put in a mouth guard. Now the problem with that is that these mouth guards are not custom made. These are universal, meaning um, it fits for everyone. Now they can be large or too small. If it's too large, you'll over um, use the product in it and it can seep and it doesn't fit well, so it'll go around your gums more, cause a lot of gum irritation, a lot of tooth irritation. If it's too small, it, again, it won't fit well, so you're going to have not enough product. So one area might get more um, product, so you'll have uneven whitening. It can also cause a lot of irritation because it doesn't fit well. So that means if you have uh, gum exposure, like gum recession, or you have root exposure, that product can get around there and cause a lot of sensitivity. Another very popular um, DIY is a turmeric paste. Now, turmeric has been very popular and a lot of studies show it's really good for your health, but all these studies show that when you eat it, when you put it in your food, in your smoothies, it's really good. Absolutely no data, no studies showing that it's an effective whitening agent. So I would save it for your cooking and keep it off of your teeth for whitening. Now, third very popular uh, product people use at home is coconut oil and baking soda. Now, baking soda has shown to be effective in re uh, taking off or reducing minor stains. So that means anything at extrinsic. Extrinsic stain is something that's superficial, just on the surface of the tooth. And intrinsic, meaning on the inside of the enamel, which it's not going to remove. So we have to be also careful. It's a very abrasive product. It can cause irritation to the enamel and take the protective layer off. So that is why people are getting sensitivity. And also coconut oil, absolutely no studies showing that it works as a whitening agent. So another very popular DIY is the charcoal powder and charcoal toothpaste. So you can see um, in your local pharmacy section, a lot of charcoal toothpaste. Now, recently the British Dental Journal did a study and concluded any charcoal-based product caused more harm than gave any good benefits. So be careful when you purchase these products. There's no studies showing that it's an effective whitening agent. 
Actually, the charcoal can be very abrasive and the study found that it could scratch off the protective layer of the enamel, which can lead to cracks and of course the cause sensitivity. Now another thing it does is causes a lot of mess. It messes up your sink and it discolors a lot of things. Your tongue becomes all blackened. Any of your fillings, white fillings you have will become discolored. And also if you get it on your fabric, it, you could have a problem removing it. So be careful when you're using that. But right now, no studies showing that it is an effective whitening agent. Now the last one I'm going to talk about is the lemon juice and baking soda. Just saying that is gives me sh shivers because I can't believe people are actually putting that because it seems to be very abrasive. So you have the acidity from the lemon juice and the baking soda is very abrasive. So that combination can be very harmful if you overuse it and are aggressive brushing with it. So be careful, it's a lot of enamel and gum sensitivity can occur, especially if you have exposed roots of your teeth. Now, just because all these products are natural does not mean that they cannot cause a lot of harm and cause a lot of damage and issues. So the best advice I can give you is talk to your dental professional and get some um, um, literature, some information, what's the best route for you. So the next video I'll be talking about is products that actually work, that studies have shown that people are satisfied and are happy with the results. So till then, take care, be safe and healthy, and I'll see you. Bye.